try to smuggle a monkey in your butt? No? Oh, okay, because these people did. In the past, people have tried to smuggle all kinds of things illegally. And while drugs and money are common, the following stories are not only going to take the cake for the craziest, but shock you that someone actually tried to smuggle these things. Seriously, they're disturbing. Here are the 10 most insane smuggling failures. Number one are cocaine breast implants. For many women, getting breast implants is both a big decision and very expensive. However, for one particular woman traveling from Colombia to Spain, hers were even more so. Of course they weren't your average silicone implants. No, instead these particular ones were filled with a different kind of cushion, cocaine. In 2012, upon returning from a trip to Bogota, this anonymous woman was asked questions by security, specifically about the reasons for her trip. Due to her answers being rather suspicious, she was handed over to the police for further questioning and physical examination. That's when they noticed fresh scars and bloody gauze under her breasts. At that point, it was off to the hospital where they found three pounds of cocaine, keeping her B's looking like D's. Now, as insane as this smuggling scheme might sound, it has actually happened many times. Young women, the majority of whom are traveling from the world's cocaine capital, Colombia, have been caught with large cocaine implants at airports in Spain Germany and of course Colombia that oh don't mind that that's a baby powder number two are 18 tiny monkeys Okay, this one's just bananas. In 2010, at Mexico City's International Airport, 38-year-old Roberto Cabrera was stopped when security noticed that not only was he acting strangely, but there were odd bulges under his clothes. Once he was pulled aside and searched, security found 18 titty monkeys wrapped in socks in a girdle around the man's waist. Unfortunately, once removed from the girdle, two of the poor monkeys were found dead. Cabrera, who had brought the monkeys over from Lee, said that the monkeys had started out in his luggage but then were placed in a girdle before he went through customs to avoid them going through x-ray machines. The endangered titty monkeys were purchased in Lima for $540 and would sell for a total of $18,000 minus the two that didn't make it. This idiot smuggled frail animals putting them through life-threatening conditions, gambled his freedom away with super obvious illegal items, and did it all for a few thousand bucks. Monkey business is bad business, pal. Number three is a human head. Okay, uh, bringing souvenirs back from a vacation is one thing. Bringing an item illegally across a border to practice voodoo magic is another one entirely. In 2006, Marilyn Severe, a 30-year-old woman traveling from Haiti back to Miami, was caught with a human skull in her suitcase. What raises the creepiness factor in this story is the fact that the skull still had hair on it, as well as a little bit of skin. Seriously? In case you didn't know, it's obviously a little bit against the law to bring Bring human remains into a country without a death certificate or, you know, a good reason. But of course, she didn't seem to care. She just wanted to perform some magic and keep evil spirits away. That's not too much to ask. As a result, Marilyn was sentenced to two months probation and was ordered to pay a $1,000 fine. The head's origin is still unknown, and as for where Marilyn's head was when she decided to purchase and transport the insanely creepy skull is too unknown. Number four is a woman in the dashboard. Imagine reaching for something in your glove compartment of your car and a hand passing you the necessary documents back. Kind of sounds like something out of a horror movie or a really messed up version of Knight Rider. Well, not in this case. In 2001, at the US-Mexico border, a man was stopped and asked for proper documentation before he could fully enter the country. When the man reached into the glove compartment for his paperwork, a human hand reached back and gave it to him. Of course, the trained eyes of the guards watching over him no noticed immediately and investigated, finding an adult woman stashed away inside the car's dashboard. Usually smuggled people opt to hide in the trunk of a car during border crossings, but this person, who had clearly done this before, was crafty and actually built a custom hiding space in the car. And he would have gotten away with it too, if his passenger wasn't so gosh darn helpful. Oh, you need a piece of paper? Here you go! Number five are steroids. 
Some people will do whatever it takes to bring substances across borders and into countries that consider them illegal. One such substance is steroids. In 2008 in Australia, Customs caught sight of 150 bottles of suspicious oils from Thailand that didn't include a permit from Australia's Therapeutic Goods Administration. But upon closer inspection, what was labeled as gay lube oil was found to contain decadurabolin and testosterone, also known as liquid steroids. Once they were discovered and confiscated, customs officials began looking into what appeared to be a drug smuggling network operated by Australian biker gangs. The gangs also attempted to smuggle illegal steroids in other items, including green tea packets, facial creams, and other sex-based products. In this case, I'm guessing the fact that the oils were strictly marked homosexual may have probably given something away. I don't think lube has a sexual preference. Number six are live hummingbirds. When caught breaking the law once, you figure a person probably wouldn't attempt a repeat offense. Well, this wasn't the case in 2011, at least not for one anonymous Dutch man who was traveling into France with a little extra something something in his pants. When airport security noticed that the man was acting a little strange, they pulled him aside and searched him. They quickly discovered something alarming between his legs. More than a dozen live hummingbirds were wrapped in fabric, tucked into little pockets in a pouch, and sewn into to the front of the pants he was wearing. You know, in retrospect, this could have been one of those cases where answering honestly about his suspicious behavior might have actually made the authorities laugh it off and leave him without even searching him. Uh, they're hummingbirds. <laughs> You get on, go through, you're stupid. Telling anyone that you have a dozen hummingbirds in your pants is bound to get a reaction of disbelief. I mean, I couldn't even begin to imagine how it would feel to have that many <clears throat> peckers down there. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Tip your waiter. Okay. Number seven are cell phones and accessories. How perfect would it be if a cat could be trained to go from one place to another carrying a message? Well, at the Romero Nabrega High Security Prison in Brazil, prison guards caught a cat making its way towards the prison walls wearing what appeared to be a thick coat. Once the feline was caught and the coat was removed, guards found four cell phones, four chargers, and seven SIM cards. Clearly someone was trying to help out a few of the prisoners and enlisted the help of one of nature's stealthiest felines. After doing a thorough search of the prison, security wasn't able to find out which prisoner was to receive the goods and the cat was released unharmed. Cats can exhibit some pretty suspicious behavior but when you see a cat wearing a shady looking coat, that's when you know trouble's brewing. Also, be on the lookout for cats in dark alleyways that smoke cigarettes and play with switchblades. You stay away. And cat burglars. <laughs> cat burglar. Number eight is a woman in a suitcase. A lot of people have made the joke about going on a vacation with someone just by being stuffed in their suitcase, but no one would actually ever do that, right? <laughs> Well, although not for vacation purposes, a 48-year-old Thai woman named Porn Kamal, great name, was stuffed in a suitcase in 2013. The smuggler, a 56-year-old man from Phoenix, tried to drive into Arizona from Mexico and was stopped at the border on December 30th. His vehicle and luggage were both searched, which is when guards found the woman trying to hide under a pile of clothing. Both the driver and the smuggled suitcase dweller were brought into custody. But not only that, just 10 days prior to her discovery in the luggage, Porn Kamal was denied admission and deported from Los Angeles. In her desperate attempt to gain entry into the United States, she decided to use her best hide and seek game tactics by hiding under clothes. <laughs> you can't find me, I'll never be found. Number nine are immigrants inside Rolls Royces. Okay, I understand the idea of rolling into a location in style, but I think this one might be crossing the line just a little bit. In 2011, a police trained sniffer dog found nine illegal male immigrants that had stowed away in empty shells of Rolls Royces in France. The car bodies were en route to the Rolls Royce factory in Goodwood, West Sussex, where they, and hopefully not the immigrants, would be turned into fully fledged cars. As it turns out, the immigrants were from Africa and were 
were probably hoping for a better life. Unfortunately for them, had the sniffer dog not found them, officers at the border probably would have found them instead, either by doing physical searches or by using a heartbeat detector. Luckily, there was no damage done to the shells of the cars, but the men's egos were severely damaged when their immigration bragging rights had been taken away. You know, because claiming to have cruised into a country illegally while in a quarter of a million dollar car would have been a good story. And number 10 is a live tiger cub. Do you think you'd be able to tell the difference between a stuffed animal in a suitcase and a real one? Well, luckily, if you can't for some reason, the x-ray machines at the airport can. In fact, in 2010, they were able to find a small two-month-old tiger cub in a suitcase, sedated and sleeping next to a stuffed one. A 31-year-old Thai woman named Piawan had attempted to take the cub with her on a flight from Bangkok's International Airport to Iran. However, after being found out, she used the age-old excuse of claiming that the bag wasn't hers and she was carrying it for someone else. Just for fun, she also added that she wasn't aware that the cub was inside. The cub, which would have sold for $3,200 on the black market, was later brought to the Conservation Department's rescue center. I'll admit that having a tiger as a pet seems pretty cool for some, but I wouldn't suggest it. That little cat's gonna turn into a big cat, and that big cat's gonna have a big appetite. Oh, so those were the 10 most insane smuggling failures. But today's question is, have you ever heard of any other stories of people trying to smuggle crazy things, hopefully not your friends, and if so, you might wanna leave their name out of it. If so, leave your response below because I'll be reading through them and I'm going to pin the best comment to the top. As always, thank you guys so much for coming by today. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit that like button for me and remember to come back tomorrow at exactly 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. I'll see you then.